Hailing from the slums of Angola's capital, Luanda, rapper MC Kappa uses his lyrics to highlight the country's ills, from corruption to grinding poverty. There's a lack of everything here, a lack of sanitation, a lack of sewage systems, a lack of schools and a lack of hospitals. The speaker has power, and music is a vehicle for speech. Knowledge in Africa is transmitted by word of mouth, and it's an expressive force. Angola is Africa's second largest oil producer, with oil exports generating more than $45 billion a year. Yet over half of its population lives on less than $2 a day. Protests against President Dos Santos' 33-year rule are rare and dangerous. Rappers like Luati, known as Iconoclaster, know the risks involved. Last May, some of Luati's colleagues were beaten up by masked men who burst into the house where they were meeting. But that didn't stop him using social media to spread anti-government messages ahead of the country's election. Despite Luati's efforts, Angola's ruling party, the MPLA, won with 74% of the vote, giving President Dos Santos another five-year term. Many credit Dos Santos with ending Angola's 27-year civil war, affectionately calling him the father of the nation. It's a phrase MC Kappa likes to poke fun at, saying this is the country of Father Banana. Few expect rappers to change Angolan politics, but as the next generation grow up to their defiant drumbeat, they might well pave the way for more effective opposition.